I bet you've heard that customer interaction analytics is a great way to improve your business processes as well as your agent performance. But maybe you've heard that it's complicated to use and hard to get started. With Nexedia Interaction Analytics, it's easier and simpler to use than you might think. Let's take a look and I'll show you. I'll run you through a typical example from a communications company. To get started, Nexedia processes all of our recorded audio and makes it searchable at lightning fast speeds. And we can search for anything we want in any of the recorded audio, no matter how long ago we recorded it. And just so you know, Nexedia can do the same things for text interactions. So where should we start? In this case, we'll search for today's topic of interest in last month's audio. We want to know how often our call center agents are using a specific troubleshooting technique, resetting the box, when customers call in after receiving an error message. Nexedia searches all of the past recordings and returns the calls where reset the box is present. We can listen to the entire call or just the relevant part where the search hit occurs. And if we want to use this search for reporting or tracking purposes, all we do is save the search so we can use it again. But what if what we're trying to find requires a more robust search, meaning more detailed and specific? We simply add multiple terms and Boolean logic. Say we want to search for dispatch calls where we send a technician to a customer's home. Perhaps the agent says, send a technician. But it's more likely they'll say, I have an appointment between noon and four available when they schedule the dispatch. So to make sure we get the highest and most accurate number of calls returned to us, we'll use both phrases to construct our search. We'll add a logic operator telling the system that either of these terms is sufficient to define a dispatch. Voila! We have our results. And we can save this more robust search to use it again later. We can use these saved structured searches to categorize our calls. This allows us to perform deeper analysis. Let's have a look at what we're talking about. Those structured searches automatically categorize our new audio as it comes into the system. So we can know exactly how often those particular things occur. See that our reset the box search is here? So is our dispatch truck search. We added one more troubleshooting technique to this mix, send a signal, which we're also seeing. Now that our searches are automatically categorizing our calls, we can dig deeper. Let's say we want to know how often our call center agents use the first two techniques before dispatching a truck. That would be interesting because truck rolls cost a lot more money than handling the issue over the phone. We can use one save search to filter against the others. So we'll start with dispatch truck calls. Then we'll search just those calls that indicate a truck was sent to find out if the agents also mention sending a signal or resetting the box. The calls returned from that search would be examples of when an agent tried to troubleshoot before sending a truck. Exactly what we want. So we'd hope that number of calls we found with this search was almost equal to the number of calls we started with. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We only got about half the amount of calls back. That means that more than 50% of the time, a truck is sent to our customer's home. The less costly troubleshooting steps were not used. So there you have it. We ran an initial search for a main topic, found it, saved that structured search, and then used it as the base for deeper analysis. The result? We uncovered a process that wasn't working. Thankfully, this can be easily corrected with some agent training and will save us lots of money. This was just one example. Contact us to learn how Nexedia Interaction Analytics can help your business.